So we're going to turn to page 44. This is the second part of the 3.11 lesson, right? There's two parts. One part is when you have those graphs, which is what we were working on before. Now this, we only have words. There's no graph here, meaning we need to create our equation. So it says a recording studio charges a musician an initial fee of $50. Initial fee, right? That's usually that extra part, kind of like your y-intercept, right? So you know it's going to be plus 50. Then it says studio time costs $35 per hour. That per kind of gives you a slope. For every hour you use, you're going to spend $35. So 35x. So you can immediately say y equals. Also, do not forget to define your variable, right? x equals the number of hours, which we just established. Every hour you spend there, you're going to be spending $35. Great. We wrote an equation. That is the first step here, right? It says write an equation as a function of time studio. Don't worry about when it says as a function of because this is already set up. We can write y equals 35x plus 50 or we can write f of x equals 35x plus 50. You can do it either way. Then it says now you're going to find the total cost right if it takes 10 hours so we're going to go ahead and substitute this we get y equals 35 well i'm going to multiply that by 10 because it's saying that i'm going to be using 10 hours plus my 50. i find out that this is going to be 350 plus 50. so if i want to rent this studio for 10 hours it's going to cost me four hundred dollars And that's going to be your answer right there. So these are the straightforward ones, right? You can immediately write it into slope intercept form. Other times, we're going to go down to number three. It says our membership costs $33 per month. Oh, great. We have a slope right here. 33x. It says after an initial fee, okay? It doesn't tell us our fee, right? So I guess it's just plus B. We don't know that y-intercept. It does say, however, that we paid a total of $228 for six months. Now I'm gonna give you a hint. When you guys see money and for a number of, I don't know, let's say races, months, days, whatever it is, that's a point that it's giving you. It says basically for six months, you paid 228 in total. Now, if you recall, if we go back here, total cost is usually our Y, right? And then number of months, number of races, number of days, number of hours is our X. So that kind of helps us here to put it into a coordinate point. Okay, so if I didn't want to write this equation, I know that M is 33. So I have a point and I have a slope which means I can put this into point slope form. There's nothing for me to define yet. If you want to do a let statement right immediately, because X is the number of months, you can do that immediately. If not, you can write that later on, but don't forget your let statement. So point slope form, Y minus 228 equals 33 times X minus six. Well, we can put this in slope intercept format by distributing and then adding. So we get y minus 228 equals, let's distribute. You get 33x minus 198, right? Because you distribute it. Now I'm going to add 228. Use your calculator if you need to, but y equals 33x plus 90. Well, guess what? We just found our equation. And it does say to write the equation, the total cost as a function of the gym membership. There's our equation. We still have yet to take an extra step because it's not just stopping us there. Now it says find the total cost after nine months. So we're going to take our equation. We get y equals 33x plus 90. And we know x is the number of months, and it gave us the number of months is going to be 9. So we're going to substitute that in and add 90. 
when you solve this, you're going to get y equals 387. So it's $387 to use it for nine months. These two types of problems are probably the most simplest. Now, there's one last type of problem, but again, we're just building on what we just did. So on page 45, number one, it says in BMX racing, racers purchase a one-year membership to the track. Okay, that's like the y-intercept, right? But they also pay an entry fee for each race. Each race. That's kind of like your slope. It says one racer paid a total of $125 for five races. Well, we just recently learned that when there's money for an amount of something, you can write that as a coordinate point. So I have five comma 125. Make sure you flip it, right? Because the total cost, that 125, is your Y. You still have another one here. It says a second racer paid a total of $170 for 80, for eight races. So again, you have eight comma 170. Well, I have two points. What can I do with that? I can find the slope. So go ahead and calculate your slope, right? Make it your x1, your y1, your x2, your y2. You're going to find out your slope is 15. Okay, so now I have a slope and two points. I can put this in point slope form because I have the information to do that. So I get y. I'm going to use this pink one, the first one. y minus 125. I'm just going to put it all in pink. Equals 15 times x minus 5. I'm going to distribute. And then I'm going to add the 125. Okay, so I have my equation, but look at the question. That's not what it's asking me. It's asking me how much does the track membership cost? So that's your y-intercept here, right? That's just the membership. So membership cost is $50. That's the first answer. The second question is asking us what is the entry fee per race. Oops, sorry, it says face. Change that to race. So entry fee per race. Because it's per, it's telling us that that's your slope. That is $15. Because you can read it right off of your equation that you got with those two numbers. This is probably the hardest one, and the rest of this page focuses on these types of problems. So go ahead and continue to practice.